So we start the book out somewhere that I think is, um, for me, probably the hardest thing to wrestle with. I love that. I know that that's the case for you, too. So in chapter one, where we start out talking about balance, this was actually, you told me, the hardest chapter for you to write. It was the hardest chapter for me to write. You know, when I set out to write The Fringe Hours, I expected to start with chapter four. I didn't expect to do these first Mm -hmm. three chapters. But then when I conducted the research and talked to more than 2,000 women of about their time and how their what their passions are and how they're finding the time and how they're not. Mm-hmm. I realized that it would be a huge disservice to do this book without this first section yeah. of why we're not making time for ourselves. Mm-hmm. And one of the biggest ones was balance. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how can I write about balance? Like, balance is not even a thing. Like, right. is it mm-hmm. even really Hard possible? Right? Like, it's like a unicorn. It's, <laughs> right, it's like a unicorn, right? So I'm writing about making time for you, which is a unicorn for a lot of people. And then I'm going to write about balance. Like, we're going to throw this book in the garbage. Right? Right. So I started, so I'm like, I'll write chapter four first. And so then I came back to it. And one of the things that I did was look at the definition of balance. Mm -hmm. And this was great for me because... I love this. There are so many, there's several definitions, right? But you've got emotional stability and a satisfying arrangement of elements. And that together, that equals balance. And I said, Mm -hmm. that's it. So often for me, and I think so many women, we look at the calendar Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. we've got stability there, right? Like it it all is satisfying, it all fits, nothing's overlapping. Mm-hmm. But we don't take into account our emotions yeah. and how we're how it's making us feel. Mm-hmm. And so then when that happens, that's when we get out of balance. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I tried to do in this chapter was just talking about how can we have that equation Mm-hmm. be equal right? so that we can have some sort of balance in our lives. It's not going to be perfect, yeah. and it's not going to be something that happens every week. We're yeah. going to miss the yeah. mark. But where can we have that pursuit yeah. so that we feel okay with making time right. for ourselves? Mm-hmm. And so, so talk a little bit more about that because we talked about this before we started taping, and I loved something that you guys had, I think, talked about last night, and yeah. then we sort of recapped. And I think it's really important to sort of mention that here, um, as far as you being, say what you said earlier. Do about, you remember? About the passions. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, I really feel like God has given in each of us certain passions, certain gifting that mm-hmm. make us us, mm-hmm. that right. make me me. Right. Um, that I am mom, and I'm mom a lot of the time. You know, I feel like 95% of my day, I am the mother. Yeah. But I have to, I can't forget that I'm also Sarah, that mm-hmm. he created me as Sarah with certain um passions and gifts that I that he wants to see me using mm-hmm. in my life That's right. on a daily basis. Yeah, right. Um that I can serve my kids and I can mm-hmm. and I can be a part of other people's lives. I can be a mother and a friend and a wife mm-hmm. and um a sister and all of those roles. But if I'm forgetting this, if I'm forgetting right. that God has created right. me as a unique human yes. being, mm-hmm. then I'm missing a huge part of why he created me. Mm-hmm. And when we miss that um worshiping him with our with our gifts whatever it is and that he's yeah, that he yeah. enjoys seeing us find joy I love in that. these things he's put in our hearts right. we're mm-hmm. missing a huge part of spiritual fulfillment and right. the reason that we're here Absolutely. yeah mm-hmm. I love that and we're all going to wrestle with different types right. of balance mm-hmm. I know too for you yeah. Toby you're balancing mm-hmm. I'm balancing lots of stuff I'm a pediatrician I'm mom of two small children my husband travels probably about half of the month and mm-hmm. so there's constantly push pull between how to get involved with church activities kids activities take care of myself and so mm-hmm. that's always good and I think it's always going right. to be something I always am going to have to struggle with the, mm-hmm. how to make everything be in harm in harmony so that mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. it's still I'm still being taken care of for myself mm-hmm. right yeah. mm-hmm. And what does that look like for you, Lee? <laughs> I juggle so many different roles from day to day. Right. Every day is different. But I think uh, consistently I have allowed the housework to come in last. I, I say <laughs> half, <laughs> of, I say half of the laundry. That's I say good. half of the dishes. And, and everything else can wait. Um, I would rather take care of myself and prioritize that yeah. than stay on top of my dust bunnies and... And no one really notices that stuff. And if they do, <laughs> yes, uh, they, they don't. They're not my real friends. I love. I love how you said that because I know in my house, my husband jokes about that. That if the laundry is caught up, if I'm feeling good, like we've all got clean underwear, mm-hmm. we're good. Yeah. Like regardless that is, of what that the rest of the house. Regardless mm-hmm. if the rest of the house is a hot mess. Like <laughs> for me, if I've got clean underwear on, I'm winning the game. Yes. Right? We're winning <laughs> clean underwear. Um, and I think we are going to talk a little bit more about this later, but. Um, 
I love even the idea of guilt in this, and I think, we're, again, we are going to get into that right. a little bit later, but I love what you've all said just because I think so many times we feel like in the balance, we we undermine the parts of it that are really for us. And we think that the balance is like when we're keeping everyone else's stuff and our job and all these things right. and sort of what we're going to be digging into is that part of right. the balance is making leaving room for what we love and what, right. you know, yeah. God has given right. us gifting for. Right. Like, yeah. That has to be just as important as the clean underwear. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Or else... The, well, I mean, travel. please have clean underwear. No. <laughs> <laughs> for all of our sakes. Yes, yes, I agree. And that's why I, I ended this, this section with the ways of cultivating balance. Yeah, I love this. Because cultivating balance isn't just in your commitments. That's right. part of it, right? So mm -hmm. I've got the ways of, of cultivating balance in your commitments, with saying no, learning from your mistakes, evaluating what matters, mm -hmm. all of those things, reducing distractions, but it's also cultivating balance within yourself mm -hmm. and how you feel, right? It's that two parts of the equation of extending grace to others and yourself, mm -hmm. you know, taking I care of that. your health, mm -hmm. giving and receiving love, you know, doing yes. those things so that when you do all of those things together, yes, your life still is going to be busy. Right. This isn't the end all be all <laughs> yeah. of balance right. here mm -hmm. in 25 pages or so, but it, it's really just kind of having that philosophy mm -hmm of living a more balanced life where you feel like right. it's going to be okay yeah. to make a little time for yourself. And sometimes that feels overwhelming. And yeah. what I love about this chapter and the rest of the book is that you always give us these great, practical. Yeah. yeah, tangible, practical mm -hmm. ways to sort of dig into this. And so we'll see that at the end of this chapter. And um, these were really helpful for me. Okay. So before we move on to you know our next section, I think this is a good place to land to just sort of see a starting point and know yep. where you can mm -hmm. start to tick these things off and, um, and make progress. And so we're excited to have you all with us and we are going to dig into some more next week. So we'll see you then.